Okay, now we talk about the girls. <laughs> Enter. You sent for me, Miss Courtney? Yes. Oh, this is the teacher, Mr. Brown. I am hearing much about you. <laughs> oh, I hope it's all good. This young lady has called to see Mr. Nadim. Oh, Ali, you're a friend of his, then? More than a friend. You're not his sister, are you? No. I am his wife. Ah. <laughs> Tonight, after class, we take you in at the pub, huh? Yes, and we're having a big feast. Si, big fiesta. Plenty drink. It is last night of freedom. Thank you, please. But it is not necessary. I do not drink. Don't be selfish. <laughs> it's a tradition. The night before the wedding, for the bride broke to be slashed. <laughs> All men are male chauvinist pig. Why you not invite us to the pub? What? And spoil the evening? <laughs> you make your own fiesta. Uh, we go to pub G, all ladies. No, priest. Jamila is right. We have our own celebration. That's right. Ali? Yes, please. Could I see you, please? You are seeing me now. <laughs> I mean, I want to see you in private in Miss Courtney's office. It's rather important. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I will be back very soon, my beloved. Oh, <laughs> oh l'amour. Toujours l'amour. I wonder what was so important for Mr. Brown to be telling Ali. And maybe he's going to tell him the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Ali. Thank you. Where's, um... I've sent her to the tea room. Oh, good. Well, I think it might be a good idea if Ali and I were left alone. I, I presume you'll speak to Miss Suli. You presume wrong. I think Mr. Nadim should do his own dirty work. <laughs> well, Ali. Yes, please. <laughs> well, I'm not going to beat about the bush. What bush? <laughs> I have just met your wife. Oh, jolly good. And I must say, it came as rather a shock. Excuse, please. She's not all that bad looking. <laughs> no, 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 Ellie, you don't understand. You are a married man. Oh, yes. Well, then how can you possibly be thinking of marrying Sue Lee tomorrow? Why not? Well, it's big of me. Oh, no. It is big of me. <laughs> no, no, Ellie, you don't understand. You can't have two wives. Oh, yes, please. It is allowed by my religion. If the first wife is agreeable, then the husband can take another. You mean your wife doesn't mind? Not at all. It is to have the baby. Maybe? Yes, please. We have been now crying for four years, and nothing is happening. So I'm taking another wife to have the babies. <laughs> yeah, well, it's against the law in this country. But they're not going to be finding out, are they? <laughs> yes, they are, because I'm afraid I'm going to have to be telling them. Oh, blimey. <laughs> now what am I going to be doing? I think the first thing you should do is tell Sue Lee about your wife. Uh, she's already knowing it. She doesn't mind? Not at all. She's being very much in love with me. Well, look, you'll just have to tell her that the wedding is off. Ah, uh, she will be broken-hearted. Yes, well, you should have thought of that before. Come in. Excuse, please. Miss Courtney say you won't see me. Yes, uh, come in, Suli. Uh, Ali has uh, something to tell you. Yes, Ali? <coughs> uh, well, uh, you see, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, well, uh, there is something very important you must be knowing. What is it? Ah, <clears throat> uh, well, mm, Mr. Brown will be telling you. <laughs> Ali! <laughs> uh, sit down, Suli. Well, I don't quite know how to say this, but it uh, has to be said. I do have something to say. It's about the wedding. I cannot marry Ari. You see, the point is, pardon? I cannot marry Ari. Why can't you marry Ari? Ma marry Ali. <laughs> I'm not in love with him. But you must have said that you wanted to, surely. Yes, I was being sorry for him at the time, but now I know it is not possible. How am I going to tell him? It will break his heart. Ah, uh, well, don't worry, Suli. I'll tell him. I'm sure I'll be able to let him down gently. Yes, uh, you leave it with me. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out, I'm sure. I'll have a word with him. Excuse me, please, Mr. Brown. Yes, Ali. Did you tell Suli? Yes. Oh, jolly good. Now I'm being very happy with one wife. Good. 
I hope she didn't mind too badly of me. Well, I was, I was as tactful as I could be. I told her that it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Oi, 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 oi. What a beautiful thought. <laughs> was she very sad? Absolutely heartbroken. Did you tell Ari, Mr. Blanc? Yes, yeah, surely. I, I told him it's uh, better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. <laughs> was he very upset? Broken hearted. Right, uh, now pay attention, everybody. Ali and Suli have had a long discussion and uh, by mutual agreement have decided to call off their wedding. We've already booked the pub. We've ordered all the toast and the drinks. Yeah, yeah well, you'll just have to cancel. Excuse, please. You do not have to be cancelling it. But we have nothing to celebrate. Oh, blimey, yes, we have. My lovely wife is telling me that I'm going to be a daddy at last. Oh! <laughs> To the pub! Yeah. Oh, moment. It's not time to go. It's half an hour more. I say, come back. <laughs> Just a moment. Where do you all think you're going? <laughs> to the pub. Mr. Brown, this is most unsatisfactory. Well, I agree. Well, what are you going to do about well, it? There's only one thing I can do. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs>